cuties. Look what the Midwest has to offer. Not everything is rainbows and sunshine. If we don't, then I guess we failed this week at training. Happy long run day. I bet you can't uh, pick what day we're running. Thanks for tuning in. ASAP. God, I love little painted turtles. See you later, Donatello. All right, back to the run. <laughs> Not a human. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was pooling up with sweat in my hands, so sorry. That's really gross. Is that sweat? What else would it be? I don't know. I was hoping you maybe washed your hands. No, it's definitely sweat. We just got done running. And some of you are probably wondering, hey, I've never seen Bryce without a hat. That's really weird. What's yeah, going on? He has hair. I do have hair. <laughs> Today was one of those days where I told Jen all day I didn't want to run and I didn't want to run. There's been a lot of Canadian smoke and I think it's really gotten to me. So I've had like sinus headache and just not been feeling good. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna bike and shoot video for Jen. He and, did that. And we did that and she was crushing it so hard that I felt like I was letting her down by not running. So then- First of all, you never let me down. Yeah, whatever. And so then anyway, uh, after she got back from her run, then I decided to run and PR'd my one mile with a 714 and I PR'd my two mile after not wanting to even do anything today, so. You crushed it. I'm super inspired by wow. you. I don't know what happened there. I don't know, you look great though. Wow, I did not feel great. <laughs> Sometimes they don't always match up. Just goes to show you sometimes if you push through on those hard days, it can really be rewarding. I mean, I never thought in a million years that I'd be PRing anything today. I just thought it was gonna just be a slow grind, you know? To celebrate our pursuit to just get out there and run mm -hmm. when we don't want to, we're gonna celebrate with fresh raspberries. Ooh. Cheers. You can't beat fresh raspberries. Oh, they are so good. <laughs> All right, well, seeing shit in the back. <laughs> Is he really? <laughs> good good boy. boy. Wow, good boy. Good yeah. Boy. Released all wow. day. Good boy. All right. Anyways, we will. <laughs> That's a good time to wrap it up. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow for Wandering Wednesday. <laughs> Flies. Don't bother me. <laughs> He's getting really bothered by those flies. What you can't tell in the video is I'm being circled and bit by horse flies. There's something about my hair that they love. Somehow they don't bother Jen at all and this keeps happening.
like they're running. Looking for fish. Not everything is rainbows and sunshine. It's not trash. <laughs> it's treasure. Not a porter potty. It's a pretty potty. Whatever that means. <laughs> that scared me. That was more than five miles per hour, by the way. I was waiting for that splash of sweat again, but it didn't come. No, I'm not that sweaty. There's enough wind out here. Yeah. Five down today. Yeah, that's good. The, oh, yeah. If okay. you wanted to high five me. I didn't yeah. know what I wanted to do there. So this week we upped our mileage. Instead of doing three, four, three, we're doing four, five, four now. Because this training cycle is more aggressive. You can tell. It feels like a lot. Oh. I mean, it felt really good. Yeah, today felt pretty easy, but other than the uh, Minnesota state bird, the mosquito. Or a horse fly. Woo, I was getting Maybe bald. The state horse. Man, anytime we stopped at all to film, it's just like. I felt fine. They're just all attracted to him. I mean, look at him. I would be too. Thirsty. You're all thirsty. <laughs> anyway, enough talking about this hot stud of a muffin. Um, <laughs> that makes me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> That's what I love to do. I love to make you uncomfortable. Okay, let's do that off Watch camera. Squirm. What's the question? <laughs> so today is Wandering Wednesday. Okay. And the question is, what's your intentions for running or racing? My intention, I'm not a runner. I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'll keep saying it. I like to just use it to stay in shape and to challenge myself. I think endurance sports is really good for the mental game to just keep challenging yourself because when I first started running this time and every time, it's like my mind is telling me to quit and telling me like a thousand times over every second, every step sometimes. I'm like, wanna quit, wanna quit, wanna quit, wanna quit, wanna quit. And you have to just keep saying no, 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 no. And you can go like a little bit further. You know, the more you run now after like a year of solid training, my mind says you should quit like maybe 50% less. It's still there. Yeah. But it's way less. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good answer. Okay, how about you? My intentions for running are just to have fun. When I think about different types of running styles, I think of like technical running styles, where I would say you fall more in that camp because you break down your form a lot and are trying to improve yourself. And I'm an emotional runner. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually just kind of go with the rhythm and flow of how I feel and just kind of base my training off of that. Because I think if I get too technical, I get too into my head and then it all fumbles and it just gets to be a lot. But I do think it's important to be technical when you have like injuries or like your just form is kind of causing injuries. So yeah, we would love to know what type of runner you are. Yeah, please tell us. I actually wish I was less technical because it's more like uh, an abusive relationship with my brain. Like, I just kind of want to turn it off and uh, say, hey, just feel it out. Because sometimes yeah. those are my best runs, you know? Yeah, and here I am is going, oh, <laughs> look at the leaves. And that's how I run. <laughs> All right. Again, my arm's killing me and we're doing really good. Wow, I made it to 450 this time. Okay, we will see you tomorrow. This is proof that he does shower. <gasps> <laughs> Woo!
pretending the trees, Bryce. Decided to ditch me on this Thursday, but for good reasons. He listened to his body, it doesn't feel good. I didn't want to go, mostly because I procrastinated and it's way more fun to run with Bryce. But I did it because I started to remember that at one point in time, not that long ago, I was not even able to run a quarter of a mile and I always wished I could run. So I channeled my past into the future to get me motivated to get out there and get it done. Thank you, past Jen, for helping remind future Jen that I do love running. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go find Bryce and see what he's up to and probably wipe some of the sweat off my body. So we will see you for a long run Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. It's a mystery. Happy long run day. I bet you can't uh, pick what day we're running. It's Monday. <laughs> so uh, we didn't do a long run on Friday, but we did go biking. And then Saturday I tried on wedding dresses, which took all day long. Well, on Sunday I didn't feel good, and so I just didn't want to push it. So today to make up our 11 mile run, we're gonna break it into two sections. We're gonna do two days. So we're gonna run five miles now in the hottest part of the day, and then maybe six miles when we get home. Super accountable for ourselves. Oh, man, all right. We got a lot going on outside of that today too, so we're just trying to sneak this in. Yeah. Um, so let's just get after it. Woo, I'm not ready. At least we found some shade in the heat of the day. Ooh, the shade feels good. He's blazing. You were looking at probably the most scenic part of our run today. We're relying heavily on my built-in air conditioner. Yeah, her headphones are really loud. <laughs> she is screaming. Look at this, nice bike path. Nice work, Fargo. The rest is street running, so you won't see much of that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Did I get you? Yep. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Nice. <laughs> so we just got done with our five mile run. It is like 95 degrees out and uh, it was pretty brutal. Yeah, we're really lucky to have access to this pool. So thank you, mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect thing to come back to. Yeah, the run went pretty well for me. Okay, yeah, that's and, great. Uh, and for me, it didn't go so great. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was my turn to talk. Yeah, my shoes, like I've complained about in the past, are completely worn out and all the pavement running on them is just wrecking my knees. Has he done anything about it? No, I just take complained <laughs> a lot on video. Uh, so we're gonna go buy some new shoes today, um, or at yeah. least see if they have any in a wide at uh, our local store. But we're gonna just cool off in the pool and then we're gonna see you for run number two this evening, right? And if we don't, then I guess we failed this week at training. <laughs> well, I mean, we did run on a Monday and that's pretty big effort for us. <laughs> <laughs> what a rare occasion. All right, well, we will see you this evening. Woo! Guess what? We're sadly back. <laughs> run number two. Yep. But it's not gonna be as hot but it's still hot. Yeah, it's still like 90 degrees. It's gonna be plenty hot and there's no wind anymore. But also I'm running with a new improved man on his lower half. <laughs> <laughs> He's got bright shorts and bright shoes. What? Who is he? I know. They're gonna be so sweated out. It's gonna be awful and dirty. Yeah, so don't take your new shoes out on a six mile run maybe. Because when we did that 
10 mile run, I took my new shoes. Number one mistake, do not run with new shoes. My feet hurt so bad right now. I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, I'll just feel it out. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, I wouldn't even have thought about it. Yeah. All right, let's get after this run. I've been waiting for like two hours. Let's do it, let's do it, let's go, let's go. Seriously, it does look gorgeous right now. It's gonna get dark before we finish. We're back. <laughs> it's dark. We just finished. I was having a lot of kind of stomach pain issues today and Jen just kept me going kind of half mile, quarter mile, mile at a time. And we got through all 11, but it was uh, one of those where you just feel like something upset in your stomach and can't do nothing about it. Oh, so yeah. I hate that feeling. And I was Ooh. starting to kind of get it at the end too. So I think today was a really good test and reminder to have like a break in between running, just to remind yourself like oh your body is gonna hurt you yeah know? right and like right. now you have to readjust and get back to it so i am actually glad we did a two a day like session yeah just because i need to be reminded i'm gonna be in pain <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is part of training is pushing through that. And the pavement, for me at least, being like a heavier runner, oh, I'm getting ate by bugs. It really brings out all of those uh, those core issues, like those fundamental problems in your form. And it just shows me that I got a long ways to go in order to really get my form down, even though I'm, I'm so proud after looking back of the beginning of our first training and how my form looks today. It's still, I got a long ways to go. Yeah, well, and even just from like, your vertigo stuff, I think you should just be proud of where you're at now because you've made so many leaps and bounds. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're the sweaty kid. Thank you. Well, that is the completion of week four, but also the start of week five, so it's kind of confusing. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on 11 Miles, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Bye. Get an extra mile. Sir, do you have a warranty on your car? Extended no, warranty. It's a brand new van. <laughs> it's a Ford Transit. They never break. Why would I need a warranty? Yeah, they never break. No, they never break. I never had any issues. Well, they do break. Because they stop moving. Okay. You are so sweaty. It's like flicking onto me. That's really gross. <laughs> I like need to do some of those like sinus clearing exercise things, you know, some of these. Yeah. <laughs> Happy long run day. I bet you can. Oh wait. <laughs> Your face got me off guard. <laughs> Hi Rusty. The neighborhood dog is back. What a good boy. Can you come on a run with me? You gonna watch Jen? Yeah. Glad that's over. <laughs> I guess Jen's drowning herself. <laughs> Here's a hill that I biked down. That log used to go this way. Then I flew five feet over my handlebars and got a concussion. You got PTSD? A little bit. It's kind of traumatizing to look at this hill right now. <laughs>